Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And so I'm doing a makeup look with a palette that I had already done a review on, but I wanted to go back and play with some of the blues again and see how they worked. And so um, I'll go ahead and get started with what I have on. And I went ahead and started with this one, the Oma. And this is Thoma by Sharon C. You can get it at Walmart. And um, I have Fair Lady T1 on. And so that's what I have on for my base. I did go ahead and add in the uh, ColourPop uh, Pretty Fresh Concealer as well. So I have those two on today. And as far as what I did for on my bronzer, I went ahead and used the This is Sunkissed. This is by Essence. It's called the Kissed by the Light Collection. And so I went ahead and used this one as my bronzer. And um, then I went ahead and used Sounds Grape as um, my cream blush. And what I've been doing lately is going ahead and using a cream blush and then putting a powder blush over top of it um, because my blush all fades off before I even get a full face of makeup on and so I'm trying to figure out how to get that not to happen. So um did use Sounds Grape and then this one is Sunkissed by Essence that I put on the top of it. And um so that's what I went ahead and did there. And then I did use some of the Flexitarian highlighter. Well, actually I used two highlighters. So um went ahead and used the uh this one's from charlotte tilbury it's in their holiday um holiday gift uh set and uh this one is going to be pink gasm so i have some of that on and then i did go ahead and put some flexitarian by color pop on as well so these are the two highlighters that i have on and um <clears throat> As far as what else I have on my face, um, let's see. Okay, well, we'll do the easy stuff first. So I did go ahead and use the Sky High um, Mascara by Maybelline and the Essence. Um, this is Curl and Volume, so I had these two on as far as that goes. And I did use the ColourPop Gel Eyeliner. Uh, this one's in blue. And I'm trying to think what else I did here. Mm. Well, as far as the palette that I wanted to play with again, it's a Star Wars palette. And um, these particular uh, shadows are a lot creamier formula than the normal um, ColourPop formula. So I wanted to go ahead and play with it again. Um, I went ahead and put this on the inner corner and right under the brow. And then I put this one on the lid itself, this one in the outer corner. And I did this all on a dry lid. So I didn't have any foundation, I didn't have any concealer, and I didn't have any primer on my lid. And um, went ahead and did a dry lid because when I used these shadows uh, with uh, my regular, I just put concealer on and then uh, that usually grips my shadows, but with this particular palette, it didn't work the first time. So, this is how the eye look came out the second time. And this is again on the dry lid. So, I think it would actually hold up. And um, it is really pretty. I do like it. Um, this particular blue is the darker blue that you see and I didn't use any of this color at all so um, these two are basically the different colors of blue that you have in there and um, it just it's definitely a different formula it's definitely a lot more creamy or creamier but if you want a really glam look yeah I think this is probably one of the better color pop new eyeshadow palettes to go ahead and get you um, a look that's going to be more on the glam side. So yeah. And my hair is now doing all I, straight out of the shower. So um, yeah. It's not exactly hmm. and it all seems to want to go to this side. So <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. The Essence products. Well, if you know that I like a product if I've gone ahead and busted all the packaging and this lid's just about to fall off. 
this, uh, these are both really good products. You can pick them up at Alta. They're Essence, uh, Sun, let's see, Sunkist and Storekist. And um, they're newer products, so they're really good. So I would definitely suggest them. And um, hmm. let's see, I did go ahead and use uh, just a tint by ColourPop as far as the lip goes today. And this is what happens when I don't arrange everything nicely before I get started. So I can't find stuff then later on. Um, so I did go ahead and use one. Here it is. So this is the Just a Tint in No Brainer. So that's... And then I went ahead and used uh, the Tower 28 Gloss in Cashew. So that's what I have on there. And I think it came out as a very, very glam look. And so if you are looking at some holiday parties, I would definitely suggest this one. Um, you can go ahead and use this color, which is another one of the creamier special shades. It comes out pink. And then go ahead and put the gold on top of it as a topper. Um, again, what I did was I put this uh, in the inner corner, and then this one on the lid, and then this one on the outer corner. Um, so yeah, and I think I'll go ahead and put some of this pretty this is a duochrome, and let's see if we can get some of that, like right under the, yeah. Well, that's not doing a lot, but anyway, um, definitely a very glam palette, and definitely one that I wouldn't, it's very tempting with this, especially with how beautifully they did this with the poster art to go ahead and put this in a box and not get it out again you know and do the whole collector thing and no I'm not doing that I think it's too pretty I'm gonna go ahead and use it and I hope you like some of my Christmas decorations that I got up um, not a lot but you know enough to be festive I wanted to make sure that they at least got in a video because I like seeing them every time I come into this room but um, usually I'm a little bit more at an angle and so you never get to see them and so I thought yeah let's go ahead and make sure everybody can see them and I think that's just about everything that I had on my face today yep that's about all and um, thank you and have a great day bye